This is an exciting video. I'm gonna be telling you guys all about the fact that I'm getting a chin implant. I don't even know where to begin. I just wanted to kind of explain like why I'm getting this, what it's for, just give you guys some more details. So I, this is before the surgery. Like I haven't had anything done yet. I wasn't sure that I would look super different enough to like have to address it, I guess. But also it's not even about like having to address it. I just decided that I wanted to because I just share a lot of parts of my life with you guys. And that includes this. I've never gotten any plastic surgery. I mean, I've had like lip filler, that's it. And it's a big deal. And I'm really excited about it. I actually decided I wanna share more of the process on TikTok. I'm gonna be kind of like vlogging more of my experience day to day and stuff of recovery. But I did want to like make a video and just kind of talk more in depth about it. So what I'm getting done, I'm actually getting three different things done. I'm getting a chin implant. I'm getting a little bit of neck and like jaw, whatever, lipo. And I'm getting a little bit of buckle fat removal. I have never had a super strong jawline or um, um, chin or like profile and I've always had a very round face my cheeks have always been very round my face has always been very round and sometimes I've felt like it doesn't like match with my body because there will be times especially when I'm like very consistent with my fit <coughs> oh excuse me my fitness and stuff where I feel very confident with the way my body looks but I feel that my face doesn't always match it because no matter if I lose weight or whatever, I just have a very round face and I'll show you guys like better look at straight up my like profile and what I'm kind of talking about with my chin because this is also a side note, I know my freaking angles at this point so I don't really show the angles that I don't love of myself on YouTube. Full transparency, there will be clips that I will record and I will not put them in the vlog because I don't like the way that my chin looks. Like if it's from below or something and I'm just like, I don't like the way that looks, I just won't even include it in the vlog. Same with Instagram, it's like I know my angles so well that I can really make it look pretty good. And then if I see like a candid photo of me, I'm like, oh dang. So here is my profile from the side. This is actually my good side, so I prefer my left side and the plastic surgeon let me know that um, I actually have like less excess like buckle fat on this side and more of it on this side so my right side is much rounder and that's why that explains why I don't really love that side of my face when I like am in pictures the left side is always my good side so anyway here's like a look at my chin profile like when I'm just relaxed and basically there's kind of some like what I thought that I would want done is neck or like whatever this is like liposuction just to kind of like tighten things up like this like I thought that would kind of solve it but I talked to two different doctors and they both told me to get the results that I would want I would need to get a chin implant because my chin does not project like far enough for this skin to to like be pulled tight, if that makes sense. So I hate to say it, but it all comes back to the mouth breathing, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. Let me show you guys the right, the right side of my face as well. This is the rounder side of my face that I like less. That's why, first of all, I like when my hair is mostly in front of my face. Like when I have my hair pulled back, I don't really love the way it looks. From the left side, I kind of do, again, because I have like a little bit more of a sculpted face, but for the from the right side, I don't like when my hair is pulled back because it just feels very round. These are all personal things that have to do with me and no one else. I can talk more about that in a little bit. I feel like I'm bouncing all over the place right now with all of my thoughts. Because I am a mouth breather, which means I breathe out of my mouth instead of my nose like at night and pretty much just in general always. My, like this is what the doctor was telling me at least. He was saying like my bone, like my chin and jawbone or whatever, like it didn't develop, you know, to where it had more projection. And, but like my skin and everything did develop as like a normal person's face would. Because my chin isn't projecting a little further like most people's does, the skin is kind of just like hanging because it doesn't have room to like be stretched. Like the skin right here would be stretched more if my chin had more projection and was out further, but it doesn't have that. So I'm basically getting this all done just to have a more sculpted face in general, a more sculpted jawline, a little bit less round of a face. He's going to do a little bit of the neck lipo, very minorly, because he said I don't really need much of it. It'll just kind of like tighten everything up even more. And then the buckle fat, which is something that I was very hesitant to, I, I've been wanting it done because I've seen some results and I'm like, oh, it just looks so good. Basically buckle fat, 
I'm not gonna get into, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna get into everything, and I'm also definitely not telling any of you guys that you should get any of this done, okay? Just sharing my experience. Buckle fat, the buckle fat pad runs like, I think literally up here to down here if I'm correct. It's these little fat pads in like your cheeks. They do an incision in your mouth, like right here on your cheeks and take a little bit out of the, of the fat out so that the fat of the lower part of your face is just taken out so it's not as full down here. I, first of all, do not want to look like a different person at all. I think a huge part of me even wanting this, I will be straight up, is because I am filming myself all day every day. I am asked to be in photo shoots of other people, you know, other photographers and for brands and things. I am constantly seeing my face and seeing it from every angle. And at the end of the day, this is my job and like I would love to just not hate the way that certain angles look on me. It's not super deep to me, to be honest with you. My friend Heather actually, she recently got a boob job and I watched her video all about it and she was saying like, I wanna put words in her mouth, but something to the effect of maybe a few years ago she would've been doing it for a more surface level reason and now she's like very confident with herself truly and so she feels like she's in a good place to do it. That's the same way I feel. Yes, this is like an insecurity for me, otherwise I wouldn't be getting it fixed if I was just like 1000% content. But that being said, I feel more confident right now than I ever have in my entire life. I'm not trying to find things in life to fix so that I'm happier, so that I will look prettier for others and for their validation. This is literally for me. It's for myself. I think because of that, I feel so much more comfortable getting this done because I know that this isn't to like mask anything or like to try and fix something in my life. Like this is almost to me just not that deep. It's like, okay, I'll probably like the way I look a little bit better. Cool. If I absolutely hate it, I'll get it removed, which would suck. So oh, what I was going to say about the buckle fat is I've heard that this is like a little controversial getting buckle fat removed because if you remove too much, like as you age, like fat in your face is kind of like precious and as you age you'll look very hollow or sunken that's the things that I've heard so I voiced all these concerns to my doctor and basically he's not gonna really take much out of my left side at all because that is my more like sculpted side of my face <clears throat> he's gonna take a tiny bit from this right side to balance it out with the left because I have extra fat in this side of my face and it's very obvious to me in every photo that I ever take from front on this side is more sculpted this side it almost like I would tell Leif, I'm like, it almost looks like I got like punched in my face. Like sometimes when I see a photo just from dead on, like this side of my face looks just like it's sagging because it has more fat down here. I just got out of my pre-op appointment where we went over all this stuff and it made me even more excited about it. I think whenever you're changing something about yourself, especially your face, it can be scary. Like I said, I've never gone under the knife and done anything like this. I know that so many of you guys are gonna be so supportive and so nice, and then I just know the comments that are gonna be like, that's so sad that you felt the need to do that. Like you're an example to younger girls. So it's hard because I always want to toe the line of like, being like, get whatever you want done. Like, it's up to you. Like if anyone ever gets plastic surgery, I'm never like, oh, wow, they shouldn't have done that. I'm like. Cool, good for them. They obviously wanted to do that. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Um, and then at the same time, like, I do see the perspective of, like, you know, just treating your body or your face, like, whatever you don't like, you just change. And I, I get that that could be, like, damaging. And then on the other hand, I also feel like maybe it could be damaging to be, like, changing your face or getting things done and maybe not being open about it. So then you are creating this kind of unattainable standard that people think is normal when really it's like, no, I have work done. So that's why I look the way I do. You know what I'm saying? So I see all the perspectives. I really do. But it, that being said, like, I want to be honest. So that's the only reason I'm sharing. I just, like, want to share my life with you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me in my decision, if you do. First time undergoing the knife. Okay, sorry about this lighting. This is really bad, hold on, let me turn on the light. We are one week out from my surgery. It's in exactly a week, so I just went to the store and got a bunch of stuff to prep because I have to start taking these like little tablet pill things um, now, like a week before the surgery. Uh, they said five to seven days, so they're these little like Arnica pills that are supposed to help with, I believe, pain and swelling. Um, all of the like medication that I got or like the creams or anything is all for like bruising, swelling, antibacterial stuff, anti-itch. I'm not really sure. This is just stuff that they recommended that I get. I'm sure I'll understand a little bit better once I'm actually in recovery. But there's like going to be a little incision 
under my chin, so I'm gonna be like putting cream on that. Also, a huge thing is like pineapple juice. So uh, I got this straight up pineapple juice, and then I also got this juice, juice which has like orange, pineapple, mango, whatever. I guess pineapple's supposed to help with swelling, so they said to like incorporate it just more into my diet in general, which I've been seeing people on TikTok talking about how they drank pineapple juice before they got like their wisdom teeth out. And also they recommended that I take vitamin C. Um, I've been taking vitamin C every day for like a month actually in preparation for the surgery. Here they are. I've been taking just these capsules. And then I just got picked up a bunch of prescriptions. So they prescribed me like an antibiotic that I have to get on in like a, like two days before the surgery, I think it is, and afterwards, and then some other medication to use as needed. I'm going to try to take as little medication as possible. I'm not a huge fan of med medication. I don't like that I even have to get on antibiotics, but whatever, it is what it is. I have to for the surgery. So anyway, that was my little prep run to the grocery store and CVS. I'll keep you guys updated. It is officially the night before the surgery. Coming at you a little bit later in the same exact spot that I was last vlogging. So we just went to the grocery store and kind of loaded up on like soft foods because I have to be on a soft food diet for about a week actually. I got some spinach to add into green smoothies or to make them green smoothies I guess. I got this coconut yogurt. I really like this. I usually have this with berries on top of it. Don't know if I'll be able to eat berries or if those are like soft enough. I just have no idea how I'm gonna feel. I can for sure eat this yogurt though. So I got that. Some cinnamon apple applesauce. I tried to find jello and pudding and I could not find either of them at this grocery store, which was so weird to me. So Leif said he can go pick some up like after the surgery at some point. Max orange juice, some more pineapple juice. I went through my whole whole thing of pineapple juice. It was really good. And also I drank it like every single day. Bought this bone broth, beef, fennel, and rosemary. So I'm just gonna like heat that up. These chocolate protein shakes. I am gonna be so mad if I lose my muscle mass that I've been building up. So I'm trying to stay getting like protein and still getting calories in my body. I don't wanna just be eating nothing cause I've been trying to like put on muscle and stuff and I can't work out for at least two weeks and it's like four weeks before I can lift weights and stuff again. So anyway, I want to still be on my protein shake grind. They got this like chicken noodle soup, but it's not chicken. I think it's vegan. And then this lentil soup as well. Van Leeuwen and I really hope I didn't, I think it's Van Leeuwen. I feel like I've said it wrong in the past and I was like trying to remember how to say it correctly, but they sent me a bunch of ice cream and it was literally perfect timing. So I'm definitely gonna eat some of their ice cream. I'll show you some of the flavors that they sent me. They sent me praline butter cake, mint cookies and cream, Marion Bur hello? Marion Berry cheesecake. So I'm gonna be eating lots of ice cream too, I have a feeling. I also bought this green juice. I have been feeling very nervous today because I was on the phone with the, like one of the girls who works at the plastic surgeon place they called me today just to like make sure I was prepared and everything. And I was like, wait, how long is the surgery again? Because I realized I never really knew that information and I'm not getting put under anesthesia for it. So I'm just gonna be like under like light sedation. And she was like, oh, it's like three hours. And I was like, that's a freaking long time, three hours. like." have like my mouth open and them doing stuff to my jaw. So I like started freaking out. I was like, that's a long time to be like awake. And then she, but she was kind of calming my nerves. She was like, honestly, you'll be like very loopy. So she's like, some people don't even remember the car ride home afterwards. So I'm hoping I'll just be really out of it and like not aware of the fact that I'm just laying there for three hours. That started to freak me out today. And I started getting really just nervous about like everything in general because also I don't think I will see the official results of like what my chin will look like for like two to three months. Like I'll probably have a good idea in about a month, but a lot of people are like, don't count on like knowing exactly what it looks like until you're like three months post-op. And I'm like, that's really far away too. Like I'm just realizing I'm, I'm so excited about it and I feel like I'm really gonna love the results, but you can just be very swollen and bruised for like, weeks and I'm just not looking forward to being super swollen so anyway but uh I'll vlog in the mornings also I'm not allowed to eat before the surgery and my surgery is not till 1 p.m so I'm not allowed to eat all day and I can't like I can't eat 
after midnight and then like from then on I just am not supposed to eat anything so I feel like I'm gonna be hangry <laughs> Stay tuned. It is officially surgery day. I just got ready by like showering and taking off all my jewelry. I had to remove the gel polish off my index fingers. I feel so naked right now with no jewelry on. I also can't have any like moisturizer or lotion or any type of like skincare on. So I washed my face like earlier, but I have no nothing on. I am bare faced right now. They told me to wear like some sort of comfy sports bra and like loose bottoms and then a zip up hoodie but let me show you the fit check um although i don't have my zip up hoodie on right now this like fabletics tank on and these aritzia sweatpants and my simon miller slippers kiss my chain goodbye give me a kiss <laughs> <laughs> i will see you soon she doesn't care she will love me unconditionally true my nerves are kicking in I was just telling Leif my stomach is hurting and I don't know if it's because I'm hungry and I had to take an antibiotic with just like a tiny bit of juice. So I don't know if it's just like having medication on an empty stomach or if I'm just hungry because it's almost noon. But, oh, I'm getting nervous. We're gonna be there in five minutes. What are your thoughts? I know. Tell them what you think about it in general because I bet people wonder if like you're supportive of it or if you're like, eh, don't get it done. I'm supportive of like that you want to do it but I'm fine if you don't do it I just want the recovery to be seamless seamless like not horrible I'm putting good vibes out there when I got my wisdom teeth out I was super like it, my recovery was really bad like I was like throwing up afterwards and I fainted like I feel like my body's just kind of sensitive to medication or something so that's what does make me a little bit nervous but what makes me feel maybe better is that i'm not going under anesthesia so i feel like i shouldn't be as groggy and like sick or something but she did say that like i will be really loopy afterwards and i might not even remember the car ride home so i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna feel but i really just want to believe that it's all gonna be good it's happening Groggy. Yeah. Like she doesn't remember walking into the OR <laughs> after oh, we gosh. gave her the medication. Okay. She's going to be very swollen, very normal. Yeah. No pressure on the chin area where we did the chin augmentation. Okay. But go ahead and have her apply some ice, like a bag of peas on her cheeks. Okay. And it explains it right here. Perfect. And then um, soft foods. Yes. And nothing with the straw. She's going to be doing okay. that for a week. Gotcha. And then every 15 minutes for the uh, every two hours while she's awake. So when you get home, you can ice it and then in okay. two hours for 15 minutes okay. while she's awake. Mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. She's going to be groggy. Okay. Thank and then you very much. Back. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Thank you guys you. have a good day. Thank Bye. you. You too. Oh. Hey, sweetie. What's on my... What is that? Looks like a... Marker? Yeah, they marked it up. <laughs> How was it? I don't remember any of it. Really? Yeah, literally. I don't remember switching rooms. I don't remember any of it. So they probably gave you the pill or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like right when they took you back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she said, like, you will be like asleep through the whole thing. Gosh. You look so cute. <laughs> Ladies, too excited. Where's JC? Just got home. How you feeling? She can't talk. Are my eyes normal? I'm like trying to be normal. I still do. Yeah, just tired and hard to talk. Loopy. Loopy. She doesn't remember the surgery at all. She slept through it. Which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I feel fine. Like, I'm not in immense pain right now, but talking kind of hurts. Yeah. 
so. Just a lot of swelling. Mm -hmm. With or, that, do eyes open. Probably need to get some ice. Ice your cheeks. Mm -hmm. Did they tell you to do that? Yeah. I have an ice pack I bought. 15 minutes every two hours. I'm tired. Yeah. I wonder what this is, is on me. Looks like a... Marker. Marker? They're probably trying to get the center. Mm -hmm. Make it all look good. So weird because I have absolutely no idea how it's going to turn out like from this. Yeah, lady can't contain her excitement. <laughs> I wonder if they did put a shot in me out of because it is like so tender. We can ask him. Hmm? We can ask him later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you refrigerate this or no? No. Mm -hmm. Put the other ones in the fridge. First meal, a little orgain protein shake. My eyes are like closing. What's up guys? I can't talk super well just because I have this thing on my chin. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick update. I was like totally out for the surgery. I don't remember anything. They really put me at, at ease. They gave me medication. I had an IV. I was like, I don't remember anything. So that was awesome because I, you know I was nervous about that and I was scared that I would be just like literally fully awake. Um, I have this bandage on my face. I'm going to be going to back to the plastic surgeon office tomorrow for a follow-up appointment. They're going to take the bandage off, make sure everything's looking good. And then I think I'll get like a smaller bandage or a compression thing to wear um, to keep everything tight for a few days. I'm surprised I'm even able to like talk this much, honestly. I don't want to talk for a long time because I don't want to get even more sore, but um, I just drank a little protein shake, had some apple juice, or not apple juice, applesauce, and I'm still kind of hungry, so I might need to eat something else here in a second, but I'm just laying on the couch with my head propped up on some pillows. I wish I could like smile. I feel like I look so miserable, but I really do feel pretty, pretty decent of my little thing from my IV. I could probably take that off. It is 5.30 a.m. I didn't take any of the pain meds. Oh gosh, it's kind of hurting to talk. It hurts to see my peas. <laughs> so I'm literally just like blank face right now. But I didn't want to take, or sorry, I took Tylenol last night instead of the more intense pain medication. I was trying to like avoid taking more heavy medication if I could help it, um, but I took a sleeping pill and that did help me sleep until like 4.30 a.m. But I woke up and I was like, oh, my face, like my, the lower half of my face is just very, very sore and tender. And you know what's weirdly like hurting me the absolute most, which I'm gonna talk to them about today, when I go in is my ears, which sounds so weird, but having this push so tightly on my ears, you guys know the feeling of when you're wearing headphones, like over the ear headphones? or even AirPods, like, and you have them in for a long time, your ears just start getting sore. It feels like that times a million, like the, the most sore pain I've ever felt in my ears, just cause they're being like so compressed tightly to my head. So again, I'm hoping once I get this wrap off today, a little bit later, and maybe the different wrap won't hurt as bad, but I got out of bed, Leif's still in bed, but um, I don't want to wake him up. So I just came out here on the couch and I just ate some applesauce, some mashed potatoes, <laughs> great breakfast, um, some pineapple juice and some water. And then I did take one of my pain pills. So I haven't taken one yet, but I hope that helps. This Skims shirt, it's the boyfriend shirt. I swear ever since I bought it, they haven't restocked them. I have them in two colors, but I want like a million of these cause they're so stretchy and they're perfect material for like this situation because I can stretch it so easily over my head and it's just like the stretchiest, comfiest material. So Skims is coming in clutch. Anyway, I'm gonna keep watching TV and I actually might try and get a little more sleep because hopefully the pain meds kick in. Living my life. I am getting ready to go to the doctor and I'm laughing because I had like leftover self tanner on and so they were like monitoring me in all of these places 
And when they took the, the bandage things off, they were probably like, uh, what's happening? Because my self tanner came off. I didn't even know I had leftover stuff on, but guess I did. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna wear this sweatshirt because it's like, has a super wide neck. This is like, I wear this sweatshirt literally like three times a week, I swear. It's Mariposa and it's so good. Here is a rat's nest. So tangled. I'm so much more swollen today than I was yesterday. I can tell that my cheeks are like huge. What time is it? Okay, here's the fit check. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Leif has been my full time caretaker. Our neighbor's family is out moving. Oh gosh, can't wait for them to see this atrocity. Look, I can still do this. Don't worry, everyone. Hey, everything went super well. I got a new compression garment and this one is so much better. He said I just had to have that really tight one for that first day for like the liposuction and other stuff. But this one is just like a lot looser. It's still keeping everything tight, but it's not like killing my ears and I'm obviously super swollen this the reason I'm so swollen on my cheeks is from the buckle fat removal and he took I like I had mentioned to you guys he took more from this side and like not that much from this side just for the symmetry of my face so my neck is really bruised and like my chin is swollen but already I can tell that I feel like I'm gonna love the results even with it so swollen I could see the vision so I'm happy about that and then I just got this little like they gave me this paper this calendar for stuff to do all the medication I'm supposed to be taking icing instructions all of that so I'm a little bit tender right now because um they cleaned my incision and so that was kind of just it's tender so I'm feeling like a little bit sore from that but I'm gonna go home eat some more soft food I'm getting hungry again I was just telling life I'm like need to eat more calories I need to figure out some stuff that's more calorie dense Thanks for being my doctor. <laughs> yep, you're doing great. Here's my little station of food that life brings me. Got bone broth, this green juice, and I'm about to start icing for the first time. I bought this thing off Amazon. Sweet freaking relief. Do I need to have anything on my chin when I'm icing it? Uh -huh. No gauze right here? I don't think so. Do you want to? I don't know. You know I had to buy the pink one, guys. I'm trying to see the vision. But I'm so freaking swollen and bruised. I'm not there yet. I think that's like probably how it goes. Wow, that feels very good, actually. 10 to 15 minutes. Lady's been my little cuddle friend. She's just been laying by my side. Hey. We've been watching Desperate Housewives, and it's been great. Day three. So I've been icing my face every... Don't mind lady. Oh, lady, come here. Every two hours for like 10 to 15 minutes. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna take my little wrap off. Gosh, you guys, the relief I feel when the, this thing comes off. My swelling has actually gone down a lot today, comparatively. From yesterday, I was literally Frankenstein. I think the Arnica tablets that I've been taking and the icing has helped a lot. Still kind of not comfortable to talk normally, as you guys can tell. Let's see, I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes and continue to watch Desperate Housewives. I'm on season three. I'm eating some breakfast right now. Some Cocoyo probiotic yogurt, it's vanilla. It's really good. Um, and I've almost drank all of my juice. Just have this like orange pineapple mango juice. My cheeks are like so flushed right now. I don't know why my face is so red, but even right now it's like getting easier for me to talk. I could probably talk even more normally if I really tried, but 
this is just what feels comfortable. I haven't taken any pain meds um, today and I'm feeling pretty good. So I might just take some Tylenol in a little bit. It's almost noon, but I've just been literally sitting here like for days. Here's what I look like. You can see there's more chin projection there. It's just, again, very swollen underneath and very swollen on my cheeks. So this side specifically is way more swollen. If you're grossed out by like incisions and stuff, don't look. This is my, oh, it hurts to put my head back. This is my incision. I'm just so like sore and tender right now. It sucks. I just started to feel like nauseous and I just took a shower and I didn't wash my hair and I didn't really like wash my face because I'm scared. I washed my body and I feel a lot better. And I like brushed my teeth. I'm putting a new nausea uh, patch on. I'm gonna go clean out my incision. The swelling is going down a lot. Day five. I'm getting a little more motion in my mouth, which is nice. I just got out of the bath. I actually am having period cramps right now. I'm starting my period. So of course we gotta add that on to everything else. I kind of knew it was gonna be around this time. And what I've realized is there's never a good time for your period to come. It just always is annoying. But on top of all this swelling and tightness, I'm like, really? Whatever though. So I just got out of the bath and I got into just this comfy, Skims, Nike, Aritzia situation. I got my blanket. I just ordered some soup. I've been craving like broccoli cheddar soup, so I just ordered some. I ate oatmeal this morning and it was like really hard to eat still, even though it is very soft. I just like can't really chew that well. So maybe I can, I'm just scared because of the sutures in the inside of my mouth and my, the, the healing process is weird because my cheeks haven't been bothering me at all. The incisions inside of my mouth, like literally no pain until yesterday. And then they started feeling um, just like a little achy. I just don't want to irritate them by trying to eat like anything that would require me to like chew and my jaw is kind of sore. But it's funny because I was saying like I didn't want to um, use the pain meds really. I was like, eh, I'll just use Tylenol. Like I don't like to really take medication. And like literally on the dot, whenever I'm like able to take the pain meds, I'm like, yes, please. It just, they like just make it feel so much better and just make me so much more comfortable. I think I'm healing pretty well. Like my swelling has gone down a lot. I feel like you can already start to see kind of more definition, even though I am swollen under here and on my cheeks and under the chin. So it will be much more contoured, but like, I don't know if you guys can see difference. I definitely can. Um, my right side is still more swollen than my left. I still have not wiped this marker off. Um, I need to go to the store and get like little alcohol wipes or something because I don't want to use just like the wrong thing because it's super tender right there. So I'm like, it doesn't matter that much that the marker is still on there. It's bugging me personally just because it looks weird, but who cares? My hair is terrifyingly greasy right now. Literally don't think it's ever been this greasy in my life. I have not had Panera in so long. They had broccoli cheddar soup that I was able to Postmates, so here we are. Oh yes, this looks like it's like nice and pureed. Okay, I can't really show it or else I'll spill it. I also got some mac and cheese. I don't know if I'll be able to eat it or not. I feel like it could be hard to chew, but I just thought since it's like saucy and is like really soft noodles maybe, that is absolutely hitting right now. It feels like one of the most like substantial meals I've had yet. Day seven, one week post-op. Um, my face is very tight still. I feel like a broken record that I keep saying. It's hard for me to speak normally, or you guys can tell that my face is just tight. My chin is still like numb, which is very normal. And even throughout the healing process, like your kind of like bottom lip can be numb, your cheeks, everything that they did basically. It's normal to have numbness even up to like one or two months, so. It just feels kind of weird, like tight and like numb. Almost like when you go to the dentist and you like can't talk normally because you're just can't feel everything. But I'm feeling so much better. Like, oh my gosh, I can't even describe to you guys how just 
better like the pain is now. I haven't even taken Tylenol today. I'm probably going to in a second, but I've been off my pain medication now for two days. I didn't take any yesterday or today um, because I just didn't feel like I needed it. My like healing experience up to this point has been kind of exactly what like my doctor, my surgeon, everyone had told me at the office and everything I had researched where after a week you're starting to feel really good. Not nor not completely normal yet, but it's again, not very painful anymore. I think once an additional week goes by, once I'm like two weeks post-op, I think I'll feel even like really, really good. The swelling has gone down a ton, although I definitely still am swollen just everywhere under my chin. Again, the right side. Of my face and my cheek and like kind of under the chin right here it's almost like a little bulb thing like it's just swelling the left side looks um a little bit more like just less swollen already she didn't take as much fat from here so there wasn't as much like trauma to this side of my face overall i can already tell like i'm just loving the results already i can tell that it's just like slimming me and just making everything look more tight again this is definitely not the final result but i'm just so happy that i did it i like had put it off for a while and was like oh i don't know if i should i don't know if i want to like is it worth it do i really need it and i'm just happy i did it and got it over with because now i can move on to healing and living my best life with my snatch jawline in 2022. I have been documenting everything on TikTok. If you guys follow me there, you probably have seen all of my little like vlogs I've done. I've been filming every single day of my recovery. If you want like more like kind of what I eat in a day, stuff like that that I did during this past week, definitely follow me on TikTok and there will be lots more content on there coming up as well. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I wanna end this vlog and just do like, have this be like the, my first week of surgery and the recovery so far and then let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or what you'd want to see anything about it and then in an upcoming vlog i can like maybe talk more about anything you guys were curious about or whatever thank you guys so much for watching this video coming along with my recovery so far thank you so much for your support already i mean i know no one has seen this video yet but even just on tiktok everyone's been so nice and supportive and I appreciate it so much because sharing something like this, it does sometimes feel a little scary, but um, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.